All right, and related to that story about the MCAs, please. Obviously, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission proposals in regards to the review of salaries for state officers. Remember, I told you that for public officers, there's a proposal to raise it by 16% across two financial years. That is the current one and the following one. But for state officers, the review is up to 15% again spread across the two financial years. Let's take a look at some of the uh, officers that are affected and what impact they'll have. For the president, currently earning 1.4 million shillings. The first um, review will encompass 7%, which will make it reach 1.54 million shillings starting this month. Uh, for the deputy president, currently at 1.22 million shillings after review should reach 1.36 million for the current uh, financial year. For cabinet secretaries, it is being proposed to rise from 924,000, an increment of 66,000 to hit 990,000 shillings. And of course, the same rate applies for the attorney general and the secretary to the cabinet. For a state officer in the judiciary, for instance, the chief justice, currently the maximum pay she can get is 1.32 million shillings. It is being proposed to rise to 1.36 million shillings if it is approved to begin working starting this month. For state officers in the, in the National Assembly and the, in the Senate, the speaker, at the moment, uh, the speakers are getting 1.16 million shillings per person. It is being proposed to rise to 1.21 million shillings. For the leaders of majority and the leaders of minority in both Senate and the National Assembly, currently the salary is at 768,000 shillings. It is being proposed to rise to 801,000 shillings. But of course, there are many other allowances that are not included in this figure. I'll be telling you about them shortly. Um, for the members of parliament or senators who just picked uh, these two faces to represent them, currently making 710,000 shillings per month, it is being proposed to rise to 741,000 for this financial year. For the county governors, rising from 924,000 shillings to 990,000 shillings, you notice that that's similar to what a cabinet secretary or an attorney general is earning at the moment. Now, for parliamentarians who's, uh, who obviously have uh, committees to attend to, Currently, a chairperson takes home a sitting allowance of 240,000 shillings per month. That is after attending 16 meetings. So it is about 15,000 shillings per meeting. If they attend all, then that's the amount. For the vice chair, it is 12,000 shillings, comes to 192,000 shillings maximum. For an MPR senator who is just a member of that committee, then they take 120,000 shillings for the 16 meetings because they get 7,500 shillings per meeting. Now, there's something else that they get. Remember uh, that they have a lot of work within the constituency, but also coming back to Nairobi. They have a motor vehicle reimbursement, which they can use to, I mean, once they buy a car, they get a reimbursement of 7.55 million shillings. It is once per term. Many of them have already taken advantage of that. There's a car maintenance allowance, which comes every month. It is at 356,525 uh, shillings per month. This applies to every member of parliament, every senator. And of course, now you can add this to the earlier figure of more than 710,000 shillings. For the current mileage claim, it is at 116 shillings per kilometer. But now, the SRC is proposing to raise it to 152.6 million shillings per kilo, uh, rather, 152.6 shillings per kilometer. And obviously, we'd assume that this is also to cushion them based on what has happened to the cost of fuel in the country. So let's take a, a practical case. If you are the member of parliament for Elders constituency, again, this is for illustration purposes, pa uh, from parliament to Elders uh, police station, which you used to calculate, bearing in mind that is the distance between parliament and the constituency office, it is 794 kilometers. Now, the return trip, which is two-way, it comes to 1,588. But you know there's a different route uh, that is actually longer than this to get to uh, Elders. You don't know how that works. Now, the claim per trip would be 242,000. 328 shillings based on the proposed rate of 152 shillings per kilometer. What does that mean? That you can do up to four trips. Um, I mean, you can do one trip every week. So assuming that one month has four weeks, then those are four weeks which will give you 969,315 shillings. For the 52 weeks, then this goes to up to 12.6 million shillings, being this figure for every week times 52 weeks gives you 12.6 million shillings. At the moment, based on the current rate, it is at 9.6 million shillings uh, per year. Let's come closer to Nairobi. This is a constituency in Machakos County, Kathiani constituency. The distance from parliament to Kathiani, again, police station, is 83 kilometers. Now, the return trip would be double that, which is 166 kilometers. If you calculate with the rate of 152.6 shillings, then they would claim 25,331 shillings per week. See how it contrasts with the person in Eldas. For four weeks, that would be 101,000 shillings, 326. And annually, 
At the moment, it's 1 million shillings. It is being proposed to rise to 1.3 million for that particular member of parliament. So something else to note is that for parliamentarians who have no role at that in, of, of leadership at the House, their salary would be 741,000 proposed rate. The committee sittings would be 120,000. The car maintenance would be 356,000 shillings. They get an airtime every month, 15,000 shillings. That comes to a total of 1.23 million shillings. I think actually more than what the deputy president will be taking based on the current salary. And then for a member of parliament who is also a committee chair, the salary is the same. The committee sitting allowance is 240,000 shillings. The other benefits remain, gets to 1.3 five to million shillings, slightly higher than the Chief Justice. Then other benefits, these are medical benefits, inpatient, 10 million, outpatient, 3 million, uh, 300,000 shillings, maternity, 150,000 shillings, and the dental and optical, 100,000 shillings uh, for every service. Something else to note is that, uh, again, I said this, the airtime is that, for the speaker, they get the airtime of 25,000 shillings. This is the Speaker of the Senate and the National Assembly. They also have access to a mortgage of 35 million shillings or 40 million shillings, 40 for Speaker, 35 for the Member of Parliament or a Senator. They have a car loan of 8 million shillings, up to 10 million shillings. Of course, 8 million shillings uh, being for the Member of Parliament or the Senator. Now, again, these are the proposals. State officers, 15%, public officers, 16%. The cost to the taxpayer, will be 45.2 billion shillings split across two years, every year carrying 22.6 billion shillings. And that's what it is for the state officers. It will cost 574 million shillings. That's 0 0.5 billion shillings. For the teacher service commission, it will cost 9.1 billion shillings. Again, I said for teachers, it is expected to cost up to 16%. Um, uh, the first um, phase will be about 9%. So it gets to that for the civil service, national and county, it will cost 6.78 billion shillings for the current financial year, and other public officers will be 6.15 billion shillings, and that's how the breakdown goes. Again, these are proposals, but the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, they're expecting feedback, especially on state officers by 13th of July, which is next week on Thursday, by which time Kenyans can say what they think to determine what the final outcome will be, and that is data point tonight.